What up? This is Rama Screen, and in the anticipation of the get together, which arrives on demand May 14th, I'm here talking with the stars of this new film, Johanna Brady and Jacob Artis. How are you, Johanna and Jacob? Good. I'm good. How are, How are you? Good, good. Thank you for taking the time, you both. Uh, this movie was so much fun. I very much enjoyed it. Um, here's a question for both of you. Uh, how did you get on board this project, and what was your first reaction when you first read the script? Let's start with you, Johanna. Um, you know, I actually worked with Will, the director, years before this, um, and I loved working with him. So when he came to me with this script, I was so excited before I even read it, um, just because I love, I love him as a director. But just reading it, like, I think I didn't really know what to expect, um, and it just resonated so much with me. I feel like there's so much in this movie that really hits home more than you more than you expected to, and. Yeah, I was drawn to it straight away after I read it. Yeah, similar to me. I didn't know what to expect when I read it. And I just thought it was so fun and entertaining and also had a lot of layers about like what each of these four people were going through. And when I read it, Johanna was actually already on board to do it. And, you know, we've been friends for years. So I was excited to work with her again. And it just kind of all the boxes were checked, you know. I hear you. Uh, I've always been a fan of party movies in general, and this is a party movie on top of a rom-com, which is double awesome. Uh, so I understand that the story is set in the span over one night, uh, mm -hmm. but, but over how many nights exactly did you actually shoot this film? And was the whole house party set as wild as it looked? How many, how many days was it? Like 20 or less? Oh, okay. Or yeah. more or less? Yeah, I think around 20. Yeah, 20 nights. It was all night. Around there, um, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, the set, like, it was a, a live living set. I feel like all of the rooms were always set like the party, weren't they? Yeah, uh, totally, yeah. And I mean, all of the people there, we had this thing like Big Swig O'Clock, which is like <laughs> a drink in Austin. And so whenever anybody was getting tired, like the producers would bring out this drink for like everybody just to kind of like ramp them back up again. So it was like the get together all the time. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, I got to ask because um, I know you, Jacob, got in, uh, got to jump into that pool despite the no swimming in the pool regulation. Uh, yeah. How fun! How fun was it being uh, in that pool, fully clothed? And did you at least uh, get to? Did you all get to swim in that pool after filming wrapped? Yeah. Well, it was funny because you read it in the script that he falls in the pool, and you don't really think about it. And then you see it in the shooting schedule, and you're like, "Oh, it's going to be a whole day of him like falling into this water." <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like I spent like two days probably total, like clothes, drenched, pruny hands, like the whole thing. And I don't think yeah. we ever all jumped into it. I don't no, think it ever I feel like I was like the only, <laughs> well, some other people, but like I was pretty much like the only one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I would have totally jumped into it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's talk about both your characters. Um, uh, this cute couple, Damien and Betsy. Uh, do you guys think that Damien and Betsy uh, had always been solid or did they start off uh, uncertain with each other? What is the issue really with their relationship? What's your take on them? Mm, that's a good question. That is. Um, hmm, go for it. I was going to say, I think, I don't want to speak for Johanna, but I feel like he sort of represents like safety or like, the she doesn't have to worry about this or he sort of is like maybe this new piece in her new life if that makes sense um because i think he obviously feels pretty solid because he's <laughs> trying to propose to her um but i think you see it kind of unravel as the story goes on maybe that they're on a little bit of different pages maybe yeah i i agree um I think they are solid, but I think I agree with Jacob that like, he is like a safe choice for her. And I think it just takes like this experience of going home to realize that like, maybe like safety is great. You know, I feel like so many young girls think like, oh, I just like edgy and wild. And, but then you think about that, is that really sustainable? And I think her, you know, encounter with Caleb again and bringing up all the memories of like, oh, maybe, maybe he wasn't the most committed guy. Maybe I don't really want that. Maybe 
maybe I've been like downplaying Damien and that he's not just safe. He's great. Um, I think that's, you know, her whole journey throughout the night. Yeah, I get the same impression. Uh, here's a fun question for both of you. Uh, since Damien was having difficulties locating the ring and trying to propose, uh, let me ask you both. Uh, I'm curious, is there a perfect way to propose? And what is your advice to a guy or a girl out there who's stressing about proposing to their significant other? I don't think there's a perfect way to propose. I think it's whatever you think fits the relationship, you know, and it's just different for each person and couple and relationship. But I, I, I think if you watch this movie, you will learn that like worrying about the perfect proposal is not the most successful way to do it, you know? Yeah. Agreed. I think it's very much tailored to each couple. Like my husband proposed to me at the movie theater where we first like hung out as friends in Canada and it was super romantic. And yeah, there's, there's not one right proposal for anybody. I think ultimately what matters is, are you with the right person more than yes. did the proposal go perfectly? I hear you. And finally, um, what theme wise, what do you hope the couples out there could take away from the story of Damien and Betsy? Is it still game on until you put a ring on it or is that a dangerous game to play? I think that's yep. dangerous. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't think it was a great idea to kiss the ex when she was, you know, very, she wasn't just like loosely dating Damien. He's about to propose. <laughs> I think that was very much like not the best move, but you know, she didn't initiate it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend you know, playing the field right up into the proposal. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Uh, all right, for my fans at home, everybody go check out the get together arriving on May 14. Joanna and Jacob, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you for talking to us. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,